Hello my frugal friends and welcome to yet another clearance grocery haul. My name is Christine and I will be your host today. If you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You're gonna miss all of the future videos I'm gonna be doing about this stuff right here. Today I went to Sam's Club, Smith's, and the Bread Outlet and I wanna show you what I picked up for $40 hairs. Here is everything I bought today for $40. I did separate it by store. Let's begin over on the left with Sam's Club. Croutons, says I was totally out. Some bananas because I have lots of people that like them. Four gallons of milk because Sam's Club has the cheapest milk in my area significantly. This is $1.68 a gallon for the skim. So I grabbed four of them. This should last us two weeks for the milk. I noticed this PB Fit was missing a label so they marked it for $5 instead of 10. And I figured, why not, right? That's a deal. And three loaves of this special bread. Check out this price, 51 cents a loaf. I grabbed three loaves. I will probably be sticking these in the freezer and I'll just pull them out later and use them as I need them. Moving on over to Smith's, I realize this haul looks absolutely random, but don't worry. The meal plan will be at the end of this video. One package of clearance hamburger buns for a dollar. I still have turkey burgers in the outside freezer, so that's what these are for. One loaf of French bread for 60 cents. You guys know I like to make my homemade pizzas out of these. And one loaf of just split top white bread for 50 cents. Five packages of Bar S hot dogs for 49 cents each. I'll definitely be sticking all of these in the freezer. The kids absolutely adore hot dog. If you guys want to give me grief about feeding my kids garbage, go right ahead. But I'm going to do me and you guys do you. I grabbed five of the Simple Truth Organic Uncured Hardwood Smoked Turkey Bacon. Yes, it does say $1.99 on the package, but there was a digital coupon on their app for a dollar off each. They applied it. So these were only 99 cents each. Your mileage may vary on this one because it did not come off automatically. She had to go in and take it off herself. Your cashier may not do that. Check out the original price, $3.99 and I paid 99. I grabbed a ton of clearance yogurts today. They were all 25 cents each. Bunch of different flavors, bunch of different kinds, some Greek yogurt, some non-Greek yogurt. They were all 25 cents. Last thing at Smith's is these Danimals smoothies. My kids love these so much and it's not something I buy very often because they're typically expensive. This was another case, but it happened to break at the checkout, so she threw the box away. The reason I got this is because of that. These were 99 cents a case. I don't even know the original price, but it's got to be close to $5, right? I'm just going to dump these in our yogurt drawer in the kitchen and the kids will take them for lunches for the next couple weeks. They'll be thrilled about that. Let's move on to the bread store. My bread store is awesome because they have a rack where every loaf of bread is 75 cents each. And if you spend $10, you get one item off of a special rack for free. I was at $9 with all of these loaves of bread, so I grabbed this hot dog bun, you know, cause uh, that, for $1.99, which put me over the $10, and I got the Hawaiian bread for free. So I paid $11 for all of this bread right here. And I will even show you my receipt so you know that I am telling the truth. There you go, bread outlet, $11.65. <laughs> that is everything I picked up today. This was $15, this was $15, and this was $11. So all together, this was $41, leaving me $9 for the groceries you will see that I picked up from Walmart right now. Haha, -ha, just kidding. I did not go to Walmart. <laughs> I actually really hate Walmart. I like Albertsons way better. And since Walmart's five dozen eggs, large is more expensive than Albertsons. Not by much, just a couple cents. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Albertsons and get them. So it's like six, uh, 25, it was close to there. It was over $6 for this. And I spotted two of their bakery bagels, 99 cents for six. These are the cinnamon raisin and these are just the plain. I love the plain for just regular sandwiches. And look at the price savings on this. Of course, I scanned my receipt on Fetch 
to get some points. They just give you points no matter what you buy and then extra points for buying certain things. But you could just scan your receipt and get points. If you guys want to sign up down below with my referral code, you will get 2,000 points, uh, which equates to $2. And then you can redeem for as low as 3,000 points for like a $3 Amazon gift card. It's pretty sweet. I'm enjoying it actually. So that takes me to right at $50 for the first week of February. Let's talk about the meal plan. It's right here. No, I do not have nice handwriting. I uh, don't know what to tell you about it. This is a very kid-friendly meal plan. Burgers, I have turkey burgers. Homemade pizza with the French bread. Hot dogs, because clearly. Breakfast for dinner with those big um, boule. Is that how you pronounce that? The I'm gonna make French toast out of those uh, and the milk and the eggs and then the turkey bacon. I found a beef roast in my deep freezer and I have carrots and potatoes and onions already. So I'm gonna make a nice roast. We're gonna have a leftover night always. And taco soup is one of our favorite things to make. It's super easy to make with things out of your pantry. I have some ground beef, tons of beans, some taco flavoring, no problem to put that together. And we are still on budget. That is going to wrap up the video, you guys. Thanks for joining me today. Click here if you wanna see any of the other $200 a month grocery hauls and meal plans that I've done so far and here if you have not subscribed yet so you don't miss any of the future videos that I do. And hey, hit that bell also and hit the like button and leave a comment and do all of the things because why wouldn't you? Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.